Jamie's Christmas Worry How will he know where I am? asked Jamie in a small, worried voice. He looked out of his bedroom window at the falling snow. He would normally have been very excited, but not today. He was worried. Oh, Jamie, how many times do we have to go over this? his mum said. Of course he'll know where you are. Didn't you write a letter telling him all about it? This was true. Jamie still wasn't happy. Of all the times to be moving to a new house, Christmas Eve had to be the worst. It wasn't as if they were moving close by. Oh, no. They were moving all the way to Scotland to live on the farm with Grandma and Grandpa. And what if his letter had been lost in the post? Suddenly, there was a loud knock on the door. That'll be the removal, man. I have to go, his mum said, racing downstairs to let them in. Jamie followed. Morning, Mrs Fergus. Everything ready? asked Bert, the biggest of the removal men. Hello again, Jamie. What's the matter? he said, seeing Jamie's sad face. How will he know where I am? Jamie asked Bert. It's a long way to Scotland. He's worried that Father Christmas won't be able to find him in the new house, Jamie's mum explained. Haven't you written him a letter? Bert asked. Yes, said Jamie, but it might have been lost in the post. Don't worry, said Sam, Bert's helper. I used to be a postman. Extra special care is taken with Father Christmas's letters. Your letter won't have got lost. Jamie thought about this, but he wasn't so sure. What if... That's enough, Jamie, his mum said. Go and get your books and crayons. We'll be setting off as soon as everything is packed. In a very short time, the removal van with all their things had gone on its way. Mum locked the door. It had stopped snowing at last. She and Jamie climbed into the car to make the long journey to their new home. Looking at the house through the car windows for the last time, Jamie was sad. Bye, house, he said. After a while, he fell asleep, and when he awoke, it was getting dark. How much further is it, Mum? he asked. Not too far now. We'll be there in about half an hour, she said. I'm ready for a cup of tea. Driving through a small town, Jamie could see every shop window twinkling with Christmas lights. He could hear a band playing carols in the square and see people hurrying with their last-minute shopping. Jamie looked at the children with their mums and dads. I bet Father Christmas knows where they live, he whispered to himself. Passing rows of houses, he could see Christmas trees lit up in the windows. We won't even have a tree this year, he thought. Leaving the lights of the town behind, the road snaked on in the darkness. Finally, his mum said, Look, Jamie, we're here. Can you see the lights of the farm? Driving into the farmyard, the snow started falling again. The door of the house opened and standing inside was his dad. Behind him, Grandma and Grandpa were waving. Come inside. You must be tired out, Dad said, putting his arms around Jamie and his mum. Looking round the kitchen, Jamie could see the roaring fire and the table laid for supper. But it didn't look much like Christmas. Where were the decorations? Where was the tree? He knew then that Father Christmas couldn't have read his letter. He wouldn't even know a little boy lived here without decorations and a tree, he thought. What's the matter, Jamie? his grandpa said. How will he know where I am? Mum told them all how worried Jamie was about moving house. He thinks that Father Christmas won't know where he lives anymore. 
Oh, there's no need to worry about that, said Grandpa. Father Christmas has elves to help him. They know about every little boy and girl. They watch to see if they've been good and deserve any presents. He'll know where you are. Still worried, Jamie went to bed. Perhaps Grandpa was right. He'd have to wait until the morning. Has he been, wondered Jamie, when he woke up next morning. There were no presents on his bed or on the floor. There had been in other years. I knew he wouldn't know where I am, he thought. A large tear rolled down his cheek. Just then, his mum peeped round the door. Morning, Jamie. You slept well. What's the matter? Why are you crying? He, he doesn't know where I am. I haven't got any presents, Jamie sobbed. Come with me, said Mum, holding out her hand. They went downstairs, opening the door to the sitting room. Jamie couldn't believe his eyes. There were decorations everywhere. A huge Christmas tree sat in the window. Tinsel and baubles were hanging from it, and a star twinkled on the top. Best of all, there were presents underneath. Happy Christmas, Jamie said Mum and Dad. Happy Christmas, Jimmy, said Grandma and Grandpa. Oh, Father Christmas did know where I am, said Jamie. Happy Christmas, everyone! <laughs>